Remember the days when entering a toy store felt like stepping into a wonderland? Toys R Us was more than just a retailer. It was a cultural phenomenon. But what made it so captivating? At its peak in the early 2000s, Toys R Us was a titan in the toy industry, boasting over $13 billion in annual sales and significant profits. The allure wasn't just about the numbers though, it was about the experience. Walking through those iconic sliding doors felt like entering a magical realm. The sheer diversity of toys, the excitement in the air, it was a haven for kids and adults alike. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. Despite its dominance, Toys R Us faced a decline, and there were several leading factors contributing to their downfall. With the recent news of Macy's planning to bring Toys R Us back into their stores, we'll take a look at what led Toys R Us to bankruptcy. This is the rise and fall of Toys R Us. Toys R Us was founded by World War II veteran Charles P. Lazarus. The original Toys R Us location was in Washington, D.C. and was named Children's Bargain Town, which was primarily a baby goods and furniture store. The store was founded during the post-World War II baby boom. In 1957, the store decided to focus more on the toys aspect of the shop, letting go of the furniture it originally sold. In the 1960s and 70s, the store started to take off as a household name in the retail space, successfully associating itself with many popular toys that were also taking off at the time, including action figures, dolls, and video games. At the time, Lazarus was known to have a major advantage in the market, buying mass amounts of toys meaning he could negotiate more lucrative contracts. Many big-name celebrities also took part in promotional events on behalf of the store. In the 80s, the store opened a spin-off store called Kids R Us, which would allow them to open up a following spin-off called Babies R Us, expanding their reach into the adolescent retail space. Toys R Us would cap off the successful expansion efforts in the 80s by opening its flagship store in New York. This would bring in a massive amount of business and allure for the store, solidifying it as a household name. Although Toys R Us shared its fair amount of success in the 1960s through the 1990s, there were also numerous setbacks during that time period. As early as 1974, Toys R Us began to see trouble and filed for bankruptcy, which motivated the decision to let go of the furniture aspect of the store as we mentioned previously. The original founder, Charles P. Lazarus, stepped down as CEO Retailers Walmart and Target began to sneak up on Toys R Us, with Walmart managing to surpass them in the late 90s as the leading toy seller. This would lead to 2005, where Toys R Us had to be bought out in a $6.6 .6 billion leveraged buyout by major investing firms, and the company was taken private off of the stock market. With Toys R Us becoming increasingly desperate to compete with the growing conglomerates of e-commerce and Walmart, they bought the domains eToys.com and Toys.com to regain their leverage in the retail space. Sales dumps and uncertainty of profitability caused the store to not be able to go public once again in 2010. 
despite the company setting a plan for regrowth in the mid-2010s, it was not able to compete with the stores that were starting to smother their sales. This would lead the company to file for bankruptcy in 2017 after not having a profitable year in the past four annual cycles. The debt they had accumulated was starting to mountain over the hope of new glory days for the store. Toys R Us stores began to be shut down in the late 2010s as a part of a restructuring effort across its physical retail locations. But on March 15, 2018, the inevitable rock bottom of Toys R Us came as it announced it would close all of its United States stores and liquidate them in favor of the continued success of its Canadian locations. On June 29th of the same year, after failed attempts from the owner of the Canadian stores to purchase some of the U.S. locations, the store announced that all U.S. locations are permanently closed. The last of the remaining stock was purchased by unknown beneficiaries and donated to charity. Despite these hard times for Toys R Us, they managed to eventually start selling from Toys R Us branded locations without any of the profit actually going to the store but instead directly to the supplier. They also started to revamp their online presence, although customers weren't able to buy directly from them, rather being redirected to Target.com. In 2020, the store ended its partnership with Target. Simultaneously, it was being decimated by the pandemic in terms of foot traffic. The latest attempt at a comeback showed the store partnering with Macy's to be able to sell directly to consumer in their store. Toys R Us plans to increase the number of stores in Macy's in time for the holiday season. Could this be the potential return of the brand which once dominated the U.S. retail sector? Do you think Toys R Us could potentially make a comeback? Or are e-commerce stores too hard to compete with? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and let me know which topic I should cover next. As always, thank you for watching.